in this video let us look at ventos or vacuum delivery so basically this is instrumental delivery here you can see types of uh, vacuum devices you have the silic cup suction cup which is metal then you have how they are pulling the baby out they are showing and this is one of the uh, uh, side effects of using a ventos cup here you can see a caput succedinium this is also called as chignon but this is nothing scary okay it will go away so ventos is instrument of choice remember in obstetrics this is the instrument of choice sorry instrument of first choice right instrument of first choice then only comes uh, uh, forceps forceps comes next you should always do episiotomy when you are using instruments so you are going to pull and the pulling force is directly transmitted to the base of the skull okay where will you put this vacuum so you can use it only for uh, head okay you can use it only uh, for head not for breech and not for face presentation etc cephalic presentation what they are doing here between the anterior fontanelle and the posterior fontanelle more close to the posterior fontanelle you have this point called as flexion or pivot point here you are putting the vacuum you can fold that cup okay vacuum cup and then you can insert it in the vagina and then uh, that will open up there and then you it will uh, you can put it here okay now this cup uh, you will uh, give up uh, pr uh, pressure suction of 0.2 kg per centimeter square for at least 2 minutes then uh, you will take 2 minutes to reach that pressure and then you will check for any leaks uh, around this uh, cup or if any tissue is trapped then you will make sure and then you will raise the pressure to around 0.8 kg per uh, centimeter square remember effective vacuum is what 0.8 kg per centimeter square you will achieve it in about 10 minutes time okay and then you will uh, pull the baby how will you pull the baby you will make sure that the traction is at right angle to the cup you will pull at right angle to the cup you will pull only when there is uterine contraction and whenever there is no uterine contraction you will not pull and you should not try this more than 30 minutes by the time that baby should be out otherwise then it is a failed windows it will become okay then once the baby's head is delivered you will reduce the vacuum you will not switch off the vacuum remember you are reducing the vacuum by opening the screw release valve okay they are not saying suddenly you remove it they are reducing the vacuum okay now let's continue there are many sizes of cups available guys and uh, note that this is uh, you can just fold this cup and put it in the vagina so for the mother this will be less traumatic but for the fetal head it will be little more traumatic it can cause um, this kind of chignon it can cause retinal hemorrhage it can cause uh, uh, cephal hematoma it can cause intracranial hemorrhage etc so these are the problems for the baby for mother it is better because you're folding it and putting it the, putting in the vagina it is this was not a space occupying lesion so perineal tear etc is for the mother is very less in ventos remember for the mother ventos is better look at this so basically in ventos um, it's the instrument of choice neonatal head trauma is more then for the mother it is better for the doctor wise the traction force is actually a little less in ventos okay in traction force is little little less in ventos and the cup detachment can occur pop off the vacuum can just pop off okay and uh, the thing with it is it's very simple to use even a midwife trained midwife can use it okay vacuum then uh, if uh, ventos fails you can try occlet forceps but again this will be very traumatic for the mother when will you not use windows you yourself can say if it is not a vertex presentation if it is a face or a bro or a breech presentation you cannot use vacuum can you put vacuum on the face no can you put vacuum on the buttocks it will not sit there is a gap in the middle right yeah so you can't use then bro also you can't use preterm fetus you cannot use windows remember you are putting it on a head it should be a completely developed head right you cannot put it on preterm fetus what will happen if you put in preterm fetus scalp avulsion sub aponeurotic hemorrhage can occur okay suspected fetal coagulation disorder if there's a coagulation disorder will you put no because it will cause hemorrhage or retinal hemorrhage intracranial hemorrhage caput succedinium cephal hematoma so many blood problems hemorrhage problems so you will not use it in fetal coagulation disorder suspected fetal macrosomia macrosomia means macrosomia means it is a big baby you should not use it in a huge baby okay but why why you should not use it why do you think guys if it is a big baby you should not use more injury to the baby okay then coming to uh, other contraindications contraindications for operative vaginal delivery you should not even try both forceps or ventos if it is the fetal head is not engaged if there is a cephalopelvic disproportion it will not come out anyways 
patient is not agreeing to any uh, instrumental operative vaginal delivery fetus having unacute bleeding diathesis like hemophilia hemophilia if it has you will not use unacute bleeding diathesis they will bleed basically same thing hemorrhage you don't want to use even in forceps they are saying don't use okay people you have learned about ventos in this video bye bye